You don't want to be left with something verbal made five years ago, which you need to prove now. As the employer, with the responsibility to manage an employment contract, you want to set the agenda. And the best way to do that is to write it down. Because an employment contract is a legal animal, the law will imply certain things into it. Some of those you can control, some you can't. Those you can control, you need to pin down in the employment contract by writing them down. With some types of employees, you have mandatory documentation obligations. For example, under the Clark's Award, which if you know anything about that award, you know that it applies to a great many employees, and it has in it mandatory documentation requirements when you employ someone who's covered by that award. Number four, apart from mandatory obligations that need you to do something in writing, there are other things you can do in your employment contract to meet your legal obligations. For example, everyone is obliged as an employer to give new employees the Fair Work Information Statement. You have to be able to prove that you did that perhaps many years after the event. So why not do it through the employment contract? If you become unhappy with an employee, you need to be able to point to something which sets, I guess, the basis for your unhappiness. Why are they not meeting your expectations? The best place to set those is up front at the start of the employment relationship as part of the employment contract.